before we start our main service, we're gonna have a little fashion show with some of you guys wearing all your wonderful colorful clothes. So let's hit the catwalk. you may have noticed we are in a different place oh duck emma thank you we have this wonderful map behind us which shows us all the different churches in the woven family so i want you to give me a big whoop whoop if you're from bilborough Woo! i want you to give me a big whoop whoop if you're in broxstow give me a big whoop if you are in aspley Woo! and give me a big whoop if you are in baseford Woo! And I want you to have a big whoop whoop if you're anywhere else. Woo! Woo! Great! Today and over the next few weeks we are in the middle of a series called All Through History. And in your craft packs that you would have received you should have one of these. This is a Bible timeline and as we are going all through history, we are going all through the Bible. Now last week we learned about Joseph and this week we are learning about a man named Moses. Ooh. So I have a question for you before we start. Do you know what a miracle is? Mm. Why don't you turn to someone in your household and ask them, what is a miracle? question Emma thank you what do you think a miracle is I think a miracle is something that seems impossible but no human can solve it but God can and he makes the impossible happen and that is a miracle that is really cool I'm really excited to find out what miracles we may find out about today Me when too. we're looking at Moses but first of all we're gonna have our action worship theme song which is wonderfully titled All Through History. So if you jump on your feet, give yourself a little stretch. Ooh, ooh, might be up for hours. I have not. <laughs> Here we go. Ready? Noah built the most enormous boat that kept the birds and animals afloat. The Lord was good, the Lord was strong and Noah lived his life for him.
take away our sin So we could get to know our God again The Lord is good, the Lord is strong And we will live our lives for Him together now shall we god uses all things for the good of those who love him brilliant did you manage to remember them good job if you did let's go a bit faster shall we ready god uses all things for the good of those who love him good job let's slow it right down you ready God uses all things for the good of those who love him. Great job, everybody. And that is Romans 8, 28. Excellent memory verse learning, guys. Now we're gonna have our story and we are gonna learn all about Moses. Now Emma mentioned this word earlier, miracles, and some of you may already know what they are. And Emma made, had a really good explanation for them. And it was something that is impossible, but with God's help, they could happen. Now I want you to watch the video and I want you to count how many miracles you see in the video. Are you sitting comfortably? Then we'll begin. The Faithful Hall of Fame, Moses. This is Moses, who was an Israelite boy born in a time when Israelite boys were not supposed to live. By faith, Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw he was no ordinary child and they were not afraid of Pharaoh. You see, Moses lived in Egypt and the Israelites were slaves to the Egyptians. But God had a plan for his people and Moses. Moses was adopted into the Pharaoh's family and grew up in the Egyptian palace. By faith, Moses refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. He chose to share in the pain of his people rather than enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin for he was looking ahead to his great reward. When Moses had grown up, he made a big mistake Aww. and fled Egypt for fear that he would be killed. Aww. He came to live with the Midianites for many years. One day, God spoke to Moses through a burning bush and called him back to Egypt to fulfill his plan. But Moses was afraid and didn't think he was the right man for the job. So God gave Moses his brother Aaron as a helper. So Moses went back to Egypt. He and Aaron asked Pharaoh to let God's people go. After much hardship due to the Pharaoh's hardened heart, Moses led the Israelites out of Egypt and towards the promised land. It was by faith that Moses left the land of Egypt, not fearing Pharaoh's anger. He kept right on going because he kept his eyes on the one who is invisible. 
It was by faith that the people of Israel went through the Red Sea as though they were on dry ground. And then God's people wandered in the desert for many years, even though the way to the promised land only took a few days. While wandering in the desert, God gave the Israelites food to eat. What's that? And water to drink and was with them as they made their way to the promised land. God gave them many other laws and rules to live by to keep them safe and to set them apart as his own people. He gave them 10 commandments about how they should live. Through it all, God took care of his people and used his servant, Moses, to accomplish his good plan. How many miracles did you spot? There were quite a few in there, weren't there? There was the parting of the Red Sea, there was the cloud by day and the fire by night, there was the striking the rock and water coming out of it, and there might have been a few that I've missed. But well done for keeping watch. Okay, so we know that God always keeps his promises, don't we? And God made a promise to the Israelites, the people that Moses saved, that he would rescue them from slavery. And that is what he did. And we've learned from this story that God will use miracles to make sure that his promises happen. That is amazing, isn't it? Now, I wonder if you have a need for a miracle in your life. Is there something that is in your life right now that seems impossible and you don't know how to solve it? Shall we pray for that right now, that God would provide a miracle for you? Dear God, thank you that nothing is impossible for you. Thank you that you always keep your promises. And I pray that whatever miracles those who are watching with us right now need, that you would provide that for them this week. Amen. Amen. Right, I think we have been sitting down for far too long, so I think it's game time! So if you jump on your feet, I want you to be a star, I want you to be a circle, I want you to be a square, I think you can be a square, make, uh, make a square with a friend, be a square. There we go, we're a bit warmed up now. <laughs> Great, so we learned in that story that God performs miracles and does things which are impossible. We're going to play a game. And these things aren't going to be impossible, but they might be a bit tricky. So we'll see how you go. So I want you, first of all, to grab a book and a spoon. So a spoon could be a big spoon or it could be a little one like this. So you to grab a book and a spoon. And I'm going to give you 30 seconds to go and grab those before we play our game. You ready? Go. <laughs> Put your spoon, hold it in the air, and put it on the floor. That was the game, the end. No, I'm joking, that wasn't the game. That wasn't the game. I want you to get your book. We have the Bible here, which is a lovely book. I want you to put it on your head. Can you balance your book on your head? Step one. You got it on? Amazing. Now, can you walk from one end of the room to the other with the book still on your head? We're going to give it a go, aren't we, Emma? Let's try. Let's go. I'll give it a go. How are we going? Oh, oh, Emma's failed. Oh, oh, did you get further than Emma? I've oh got a flat head, it's happening. Uh, That's impressive. Go. You have a go at that and see how many times you can walk across the room with it. It's very hard. Now, pick up your spoon. This one, I've had a practice and it's very tricky. Get your spoon and try and balance it on your nose. My nose? On your nose. Don't worry, guys, we're disinfecting this after. Can you put it on your nose? Oh my goodness. You've got your spoons, can you put it on your noses? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Have you got yours, Emma? I mean, right, sort of. We're both sort of cheating, I think. I don't think it's quite on my nose. What's on your nose? Can you walk around with it on your nose? Let's have a go. <laughs> <laughs> I, think, I don't know if this counts. 
<laughs> sort of does. Like it sort of. Oh, look, oh, look. Oh, wow, Nicole. What? Oh, I love too much. How long did your spoon last for? I mean, you're still going, she's still going. <laughs> she's still got it. Great job, guys. Now, can you roll your tongue like a hot dog? And can you wiggle your eyebrows? Mm. I don't think I can, don't know what I'm doing. How about, can you lick Not your sure. elbow? No, I really I can't. Well, wow. <laughs> if you guys can, please send in your new videos or photos if you're trying to do that because that they are very, very tricky things. Yeah. So like Moses, he performed some miracles with God's help. We can do those things, maybe with God's help. Maybe if you fancy praying, <laughs> asking God to help you lick your elbow. I don't know if it's a very useful one, but you never know. <laughs> right, we're going to have some prayer now. So over to Emma. Great, a few of our girls from St. Margaret's have made some prayer videos for us. So girls, over to you. Dear God, we thank you for love your neighbour. We pray that we can bless our community and help each other. Thank you for all of our all of the team and people volunteering. Amen. I pray that our people stay close friends with you during this hard time. I pray that you can show lots of love to the people who are feeling lonely. Amen. Dear God, thank you for our amazing world and that we get to do church. Even though it has to be online, we get to do our kids' gr groups. And, and thank you, God, that we've got this amazing team that tries and help help us learn more about God. Amen. Amen! Thank you girls. Right, right before we finish, we're gonna do one more action song. Now some of you might know it and some of you don't, but if you don't, just follow along with the actions and let's go. On your feet.
Great actions, everybody. Now's the time to get your craft packs out because we are making Moses part of the Red Sea. So you have all of the information that you need in your packs to be able to make these, but you can do that right now whilst your guardians and your parents watch the service. And parents and guardians, the links to the live streams are in the description for this video. So we've got Baseford and Asprey and Broxton all together and Bilber and Shreddy all together. So guys, watch the live stream. You lot, do your wonderful crafts and send us in some pictures. And we'll see you again next week where we'll be continuing all through history. Bye! Bye.